Run Squad, welcome back to an episode of season five here from the Cliff Lodge up at Snowbird. Snowbird was very generous and they provided me a room here in the Cliff Lodge for the night. It snowed about nine inches in the past 24 hours and we were expecting another three to five overnight. But unfortunately, the storm kind of underperformed and I think we only got about one inch overnight. This is kind of our, uh, our window view. This is the kind of uh, bypass road up to Elta. So we're kind of facing this way, um, kind of the keyholes up there. And we've been listening to them avalanche blast all uh, all morning long. Little Conwood Canyon actually closed last night for avalanche mitigation, but it opened up this morning. So uh, not necessarily the country club day that some people might have been expecting, but yeah, still still just pretty rad. And it's Tara's first time at Snowbird. Are you excited? Or yes. are you nervous? Both. Both? Yeah. What's your plan for today? I don't have one. No plan? No plan. Just ready. One of the very cool parts of the cliff is the ski locker area. So every room, every guest gets assigned a locker um, and then you store your skis, boots, helmets, all that sort of stuff. And then literally like lift access is right outside. So you come down here, get ready in the morning and then go right out to the lift. So you don't have to take your stuff up to your room and kind of lug it back and forth. So come down here in the morning, you set your own code, get your own little personal uh, locker room. underneath still. Oh, 
Nice. Lower organ grinder. Love Silver. I mean, look at that little warm up. So money. Oh, that's great. Shortly after our first lap down. The front side, Peruvian Gulch, the Cirque, all that sort of stuff opened up. So came back over to the tram, very, very long line, probably four trams. So I had to try to crank some runs in here, but uh, snow is very good. Creamy, soft, little pow on top, so cannot complain. Beautiful day. Gonna rip some backside Cirque, uh, Cirque action right now, see how the snow is holding on this side. So it's like a nice little gully in here. Oh! 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 Woohoo! Careful here, there's always rocks in this choke. Oh! Oh! That was sick! Oh, nice. Woohoo! Oh. Oh. Ha <laughs> Now that's just fun. Oh, one of my favorite runs at the bird. Right there. Oh. That was so good. That's gotta be one of the best very, very steeps I've done all year. The snow is like, no one was in there. This was, was so good. Right now, the views are just incredible. It's like still like all cloudy here, but then like look at out there. Like once the storm rolls out, it's one of the most beautiful times to ski because you have like residual storms. So I did a gad to little cloud lap to sort of bypass the tram line. You can essentially access most of the same tram going this way. So you can't get like the very top of it, um, but depending kind of like the lower cirque, you can still get this way. So you can sort of get around the line. I've never really skied these gad shoots before. Um, Very rocky everywhere. <laughs> this all looks super fun. I wonder if I can go down. Oh, there's a rock right there. It's 
straight line through those rocks out to the right. needed is like a map of that zone wow that was really fun I came so close to hitting that little rock there another little zone it's a little bit more thin though um, so we're gonna take it easy to getting in here but We have a cliff choke that we're gonna have to air. And then maybe push hard right. No, it actually was kinda on it. even know oh dude look at that pocket can we get in there I'm gonna check the tram line real quick on the app Trail line's still pretty long. It's at least outside the door. So I'm gonna keep running. Gad the little cloud, but maybe do a Schnell. See how that's skiing. There's a lot of options we could do. to get into this from the top I don't think it's really possible it's at least tighter than it looks eh 
Oh, but it's good. Oh, that was fun. A little bit nervous on what's underneath that, but oh, the snow is so good right now. Look how beautiful this is. I just been literally skiing this zone all day. It's so good. So good. It has turned out to be an absolutely just like incredible day, but I honestly didn't expect anything less from snowboard. It doesn't matter kind of what the conditions are like. It's just always so, so good. And it's like now the sun has come out and the snow is so good. I'm going to count this as kind of like a bluebird pow day. I feel like I've been skiing some of those shoots that they might not have opened recently. So I'm kind of amongst the first tracks in there. So it's just really, really good, really soft and just just turned out to be an, be an incredible day. I don't really know what else to say. Just having a lot of fun, skiing rather aggressively, and just enjoying the beautiful mountains up here in Little Cottonwood. So um, hard to beat these views right here in front of me. I still don't think it's ready to go from the tippy top yet. I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> that was fucking massive. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's a sick hit, whoever built that. Wow.
Nice. Oh, it sure is beautiful. We're going to take this one a little bit easier, but look at the views. Oh my God. What's up, dude? Dude, big fan of your How you doing? Good Thanks, man. You, man. Thanks, what's your name? Like a like. Nate. Nate, nice to meet you. Hey, you ever need a park, place to park the van in Summit County? <laughs> I know you got kicked out of the Walmart a lot. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> how's, where you... How's it been today? Skiing? Yeah. It's been great. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, yeah. Nice. How you doing? Hi. I'm Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Nice to meet you. Yeah, um, big fans of your channel, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, thanks for watching. Nice Thank to meet you. you. I love skiing, man. I love skiing. I love the mental side of it. I love just wringing the neck out of it. That's what I love. Well, squad, that was an incredibly sick day. I don't think I really need to say much more about just how much fun it was. The snow was just incredible. I mean, if it's not going to be like over your head, having soft, just sort of really enjoyable ski, snow to ski, is got to be my favorite. The 121s, I feel like, perform so well in so many conditions. There's definitely cases where that ski being so wide and being rather edgeless on a lot of the area, it doesn't do the best in sort of scratchy situations when you hit little ice patches there's no camber underneath the foot so it's very hard to sort of get any sort of effective edge when you need it um, but in a lot of those charging conditions with even soft snow very very fun ski to use and um, even with it's being a shorter ski it still I feel like handles that sort of power and uh, and torque and stuff like that very well so just all around super rad day the next sort of agenda is this situation right here not super bad could be a lot worse but i am just think i'm gonna just dig this out a little bit so i can get here and then we should be okay but just with staying overnight the plows and stuff did this so i'm gonna shovel this a little bit so i can get out i mean look at that van right there that van is not going anywhere <laughs> oh god